Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about differential pair via voiding. So by default, when I, I'm routing a differential pair, I'm routing a, a pair of connections as I, as I connect and I'm routing along. When I want to add a via, I can obviously double click and the vias are added and I'm then working on the, the alternative layer and routing along. Now, the clearance to the plane for this differential pair is obviously defined by the, the spacing rules in Constraint Manager. Um, but what I can do with, with some of the options is there's a, there's a new checkbox. If I go to the global dynamic parameters, there's now a differential pair combined voya for via. So if I, if I enable this and hit apply, obviously you can see that I get this kind of inline clearance around the pair of vias for the differential pair, which can kind of improve or help with your impedance on the differential pair. But the question is, why is it not working on this differential pair where it is working on this differential pair? Well, the difference is obviously that, and it's very specific here, it says it, these vias must be added using the return path option, which is a high speed option license. So if I did file, uh, let's change editor, let's go up to the logo with high speed. This time when I, when I add connect here, Instead of just adding a default set of vias, I've got the return path vias. There's another video on this to kind of show you how to do this. Um, but when I add the vias and put them down, you can see obviously from an inline point of view, I get the clearance based on that. 